What's good, y'all? My name is Davo. I'm here with Trash and I'm here to talk some trash. What's the crazy thing you ever done because of an ex? I don't do nothing, bro. I'm, I'm a nonchalant person, bro, so I don't really do nothing, really. Like, they do crazy things to me. I don't do crazy things to them. They do crazy things to me, so I don't really got nothing, bro. I'm gonna keep out with 100. The crazy thing a girl done did to me, though, is got down, bro. They done put up at my house while I had a bit, though. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I had a little. A little situation though, and the bitch done came with like three of her friends. And like they really, they, and like she came to beat the old girl up, but I ain't let that slide because, you know, I was, you know. So, yeah, they, they, they just left because like I protect the old girl. I left her in the room, in my room, so I locked the door, so like they couldn't get in my, my room. So they eventually just ended up leaving. How do you know someone is from your city? I know they from my city, bro. How they talk, bro. How they talk, and, um, a lot of times, bro, they be always, they be like, bro, I'm A64. A64, that's the air code. So if you from the A64, shout out to A64, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how they talk, bro. Like they always have like a, you see, like, like you hear how I sound, bro? A lot of people from like where I'm from, they sound like me, bro. So that's like the quick green flag I know. Like, yeah, they from, they from Greenville. Oh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, in South Carolina, bro, one thing that niggas always do, bro, we are always like pause, right? And like, we can, it can be a silent as hell. And motherfuckers be like, hell yeah. Like, I'm talking about the right. random silence. Motherfuckers be like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, like, hell yeah. <laughs> that shit funny. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Like, why is your breath stinking, bro? Like, you grown. And, and a lot of times, bro, it be grown ass adults, bro. Like, come on, dog, go brush your teeth, bro. Put some gum in your mouth, bro. Do something, bro. Cause guess what? If I can smell your breath, bro, I know for a damn sure fact you can smell that motherfucker. Cause it hit, it's in your nose. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, don't be walking outside knowing your breath stinking, bro. Like, that shit'll turn off, bro. And it's, have you ever been in love? No. I've told somebody I love them, but I've never been like in love. Like, I never been in love. Like, you know it's crazy? Like, that's low key scary that I never been in love. Hopefully one day I, I meet my soulmate and I be in love. But right, for right now, bro, I ain't never been in love. Damn my life. How I know? Cause like, I'm pretty sure like when somebody in love, bro, like, that is like, oh, bro, if somebody in love, bro, they'll cry for somebody, right? Like, I'm pretty sure like, a lot of times when girls be like in love, bro, they be crying, they be crying for, and shit like that, so I ain't never cried on no female, so I obviously ain't never, ain't never been in love. <laughs> What's your best line for getting a girl's number? What's your number? <laughs> nah, 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 uh, I don't know, like really? A lot of times, bro, I just, I just be handing my phone and be like, shit, put your number in my phone. Or I be like, call yourself, or some shit like that, like some cool, on some cool chill shit, like I don't be forcing it like on some like, what's your number, what's your number, can I have your number? Like, nah, I just be like on some shit like, huh? And now so I tell me I already know what the deal is, they just go ahead and put your number in my phone. What's something weird that you enjoy? I ain't gonna lie, bro, I love the smell of gas, bro. Like gasoline type shit, bro. I don't know why, bro. I can dead ass sit in a whole fucking room, nothing with gasoline, like, and just sit there and marinate in it and just smell it like, I don't know, like, that and like weed, bro. Like, like the smell of weed, bro, that shit actually smell good, bro. Like, even if you don't smoke, bro, if you, even if you don't smoke, you like the smell of weed, bro, especially like some good gas, bro. You can sit there and real deal just on some good gas, bro. If it's some Zy, bro, if it's some Zion, bro. What's the pettiest thing you ever done after a breakup? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got down sent. I sent my bit one time a, a, a video of me fucking up a bit. I ain't gonna lie, that's the most pettiest shit I could have ever did. And looking back at it, bro, I was young. You know what I'm saying? That's childish as hell. But I sent a video to my ex bitch and me fucking another bitch. And get what I ain't gonna lie, a few days later she sent me a video of goddamn fucking another nigga back. <laughs> He <laughs> said, what? Why I do it? Oh, uh, she was just making me mad, bro. Like, she was just like thinking she was the shit. Like, she was thinking like I couldn't go out and get nobody else. Like, she felt like she was the, she was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, like I couldn't move on. I couldn't get no, nobody better than her. So I had to show her like, man, huh, man, huh? I'm already got there, uh, I'm already on, I'm, I'm ahead of you already. You know what I'm saying? I'm already the move on. I'm already doing this right here, right here. I be down. A day later, she done sent me another video back of her doing the same thing. <laughs> 
What's the biggest lie you ever had to tell for your friend? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me and dude do this shit all the time, bro. Like, we'll always call each other and be like, hey, bro, we got a flight to catch at, at 8 o'clock in the morning, bro. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever we live with a bit, we always like call each other and be like, hey, bro, da 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 Just for a bit can get out type shit. So, like, you know? So that shit is be, we always save each other. So I do it for bro, bro do it for me. It's just a, a lie, a quick lie, you know what I'm saying? Get a little bit out the career type shit. <laughs> What's the pettiest reason you lost interest in someone? When girls be getting their hair done, you can see like they fucking, they shit lift right here. You can dead ass see it. Like, that's like, a big turn off for me, bro. I don't know why. I, I know, like, as a girl point of view, you're probably like, then you petty as hell, bro. Oh, no. Like, I don't like when I see, like, all oh, that shit lifting, bro. Like, if you a girl, bro, you get your hair done, bro, make sure, like, you don't got that motherfucking, it's like a, it's like, it's like a damn fucking rug on your head, bro. Make sure that shit not showing at the top, bro. You know what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Make sure that shit not showing, bro. <laughs> Who lie more? Men or women? It's the same, low key, but I feel like women lie better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like women definitely lie better. Like they can cover it up way more. I feel like men, as men, bro, we don't really be caring for real. Like we'll get caught and really don't be caring. I feel like women, bro, they can look at you dead ass in your face and like be lying out the fuck, out they motherfucking teeth, bro. The whole time you believe in it, bro. Cause like, that's why I don't pitch shit past nobody, bro. Cause I already know, bro. A, a women can lie good, bro. Cause I lie good. But women, bro, they can lie good. They can cheat good. You will never know. Like, they, they, they you will never fucking goddamn know, bro. <laughs> What's the instant mood killer during sex? If a bitch tell me to eat her ass, bro. Why you asking me to eat your ass, bro? Like, no, I'm not eating your ass, bro. Like, I never ate ass in my life. Now, I'm not saying I never will eat ass, but you not my wife. My wife, I eat her ass for shit show. Like, my wife get anything she want, anything I do. But if it's like on some, like, we just fucking brings to eat my ass, bro, fuck out of here, bro. I did that, put my pants up, walk the fuck out. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing text message you ever sent? I ain't gonna lie, when I was younger. I was in like seventh grade. I sent a bitch a long ass paragraph. I'm talking about this shit was so goddamn long, bro. I had to like swipe up like four times just to get the whole thing. Like it was a long ass paragraph, bro. And you know what's crazy, bro? Me expressing my emotion to the bitch. I'm in seventh grade, I ain't no no better. I'm like 12 years old, so don't judge me. Bro, she dead ass ignored everything I said and said, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you could tell someone from your past, I told you so, who would it be and why? I ain't gonna lie, like, if I could tell my 18-year-old self, I would definitely tell my 18-year-old self, I told you so, bro. Because when I was 18 years old, bro, some bullshit happened to me, got kicked out of school. I was D1. All y'all know I was D1. I was D1, I kicked out of school, had to go do court. Y'all know the story. Um, but I was just like in a, a, a dark hole in my life, bro. Depression, like I was stressed out. I was like, I was in my feelings. Like I was like, it was bad, bro. Um, so that's just something I tell myself, bro, you made it, bro. Like I told you, but you made it. They both, they both me go, you made it, bro. Real talk, bro. <laughs> what was the moment that made you realize you need to get your shit together? Bro, when a nigga dead broke, bro. Bro, when a nigga dead broke, bro, he don't want to do nothing, bro. He don't want to think about no girls. He don't want to think about no, no how, nothing. No parties, no clubs, no nothing, bro. Nigga, bro, if you dead bro, bro, you will literally sit in your room, bro, and just be in the dark, miserable, mad at the world, bro, trying to figure out how you gonna make your next dollar, bro. Like, real tall, like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, a man broke, bro, he'll start acting mean. He'll start to doing the most, like if he broke, but you can tell when somebody broke, bro. You can tell when somebody broke. Have you ever had a homeboy, your homeboy start selling shit, he'll start selling his game, cause he, he broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, he broke, bro. Like, if, if your homeboy selling his game, he broke. I done had a homeboy sell his gun. Like, that's the ultimate, yeah, if he selling his gun, bro, like, god damn, bro, you selling your gun, but you broke, bro. Like, it's just, it is what it is. What's the most embarrassing place you had to take a shit on? A motherfucking, Porta potty. That's like the fucking most, bro. Porta potty shit, though. First off, the shit you can't fucking flush it, bro. So if somebody took a shit before you, my nigga, you finna be sitting there marinating in they shit while you shit. You know what I'm saying, like, bro? 
a portal, and that shit nasty as hell, bro. And it's small as hell. It's hot in there. You can't, you can't move. You can't, damn, you, damn, you can't even breathe. The whole time you shit and you holding your breath because you don't want to smell the shit that's got there already underneath you. You know what I'm saying? So a portal potty for shit. So, what's the best piece of dating advice? Don't post your your other, bro. Don't post your bit. Don't post your nigga. The world don't need to know it, bro. Do not post it, bro. The moment you post your Yo, bit, bro. You ain't doing nothing but allowing other niggas to come and try to fuck with your bit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Keep your bit private. Like, don't relationship, all that shit, bro. Do not go to the internet, bro. I'm telling you, bro. The moment you do it, bro, it's rouse, bro. So, bro, bro, the moment you pitch your relationship on the internet, bro, now everybody got their own little two, two cents and opinions on whatever the fuck going on, bro. Like, well, if y'all arguing and shit, bro, keep that shit private, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep it private, bro. If y'all doing good things in life, keep it private, bro. Y'all gonna last, bro. I promise you, bro. Do not post your other, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, do not post your other, bro. I swear to God. It's Davo. I was wrapped up with trash talk. If it ain't trash, then it's trash.